All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another quick post fight reaction video. All right, shout out to these ladies tonight, man. These flyweights were putting it down. First, Vivian Arujo and Andrea Lee, and now you got Caitlin Jacquegan and Amanda Ebos. Shout out to these ladies for wanting to put on exciting fights. The more and more they do fights like this, I'm going to have to do these quick reaction videos just to give them props, man, to let people know that, you know, these these ladies be working hard out here. And shout out to Amanda Ebos, though, man, um, for stepping up, stepping up and taking on a good fighter like this and giving it her all. I mean, she went in there and made this a good fight. I was a little nervous towards the end there. You know, I picked your keg to win this one, but I saw how Ebos was coming on strong with them, them, them combinations down the pipe and um, those takedowns. I thought she was going to go in there and, you know, pull off the upset here. But, you know, Chikagin, she hung in there. You know, she stuck with her game plan, good good right hands. But, um, you know, she let Ebos take her down a few times. And um, that's the one thing I could say about, like, uh, Chikagin. Like, I see her her strengths as far as her, her using her reach, you know, her cardio, her combinations, her boxing. But she's not really, like, that gritty type. Like, she can't. She can't get in there and get dogged like you know she can't go in there and, and dog somebody like like amanda ebos you know if they have a good ground game like andrade or like like ebos and valentina she can get tossed around you know like physical strength isn't really her big uh one of her biggest strengths you know what i mean like it's not one of her biggest um attributes in there um it's more of her iq and you know every time she would uh just go there every time she would go to the ground you know she would just survive she would hang on she would stay calm she never panicked you know, her jujitsu came into uh, play as as well. You know, she was able to uh, survive and defend a lot of the um, uh, the some of the attempts from Ebos and, you know, get back to her feet. And um, I think she just did all uh, well all 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 around to me. You know, I think Chikagin, um of course, you know, she could have did a little bit better, I think, by using her length and, you know, use more push kicks. But Ebos came to fight. You know, Ebos came to fight from the first round. You know, she was trying to close distance, but you know, um, Chikagin was cracking him with good one twos. And I know there was a point in there too, like one of them, one of them right hands that landed kind of, uh, stunned Ebos a little bit. So I'm going to talk about that here in a minute, but, um, she did land a good right hand, but then as soon as Ebos closed distance, she was able to get that hit, uh, that head, uh, you know, that she got that, uh, <clears throat> headlock toss, you know, she got that head, she's got that toss on her. And I was like, oh man, I was like, it's about to be over. Cause I said, look, if Ebos gets to the ground, She's probably gonna go ahead and pull off this submission because she's real. She's real good on the ground. You know, she's good. But uh, like I said, Chikagin, her ground game came into play. She survived, got back to her feet, and I think edged out the first round, in my opinion. You know, um, the second round I gave to Ebos. I thought she turned it up a little bit more. You know, getting another takedown, and you know, just outlanded Chikagin as well. You know, she landed some good right hands on Chikagin and a few, a few good body kicks too. You know, some nice spinning body kicks. You know, in there. But um, for third round. Um, to Kagan, she had just more control on the feet, you know, just landed some nice right hands down, down, the, down the pipe, you know, good one twos, um, using her boxing, you know, how she would stick that right hand out, come back with a, with that, with that back fist, you know, she knew how to like, she just knew how to control distance, you know, um, in that, in that third round. Cause, uh, man, the Ebos was trying to put on pressure, you know, and, uh, Ebos did get a takedown. Nothing came of that takedown in the third round. So I don't think that was enough to get her the round, um, she she turned it up, you know, she started swinging wild at the end, you know, just letting it all go. Chikagin, she came back with her combinations at the end, letting it all go. And that was it. You know, I, I like how they both, you know, just let it all out. And, you know, they were trying to take that chance. They were trying to catch somebody at the end. And I thought somebody might get caught and just go on wobbly legs. But shout out to Eba. She survived in there. But um, <clears throat> the one thing I'll say is um, she gets hit a lot with right hands. That's her weakness. You know, um, she was able to take Chikagin's punches of course because Chikagin doesn't have that much power but like I said at first round she kind of got stunned by right hand but later she adjusted to it but she kept taking right hands and I mean you, you can see in this fight since the right hands weren't knocking her down they were just putting that um they started to put a little it started put, put a little swelling over her eye you know so Ebos um you know she needs to work on her defense she can't just march forward like that and disrespect uh, somebody's boxing and their power like that she made that mistake with the harder hitter like Marina Rodriguez and got knocked out right so um two rounds to one you know i could i i could give it to uh yeah i, I could definitely give it to chikagan uh, I, I could see where one judge would have saw what ebos did because of the takedowns and you know her significant strike numbers were pretty high in the in the aggression that she was putting on the aggression was nice too because you know she still was landing 
with the aggression. She just wasn't marching forward. She was still trying, right? So Ebos did get one card, and I could see how that could be, you know. But overall, I think, you know, the fans went on this one, especially the WMMA fans. It was a good fight. Uh, as for Ebos, I think this is a good sign for her, a wake-up call to say that 125 might be a little too much, you know, because if Chikagin's putting hands on her like this, imagine if one of these big flyweights landed a good right hand on her. You know, she's going to get laid out, you know. Uh, Chikagin was landing clean on her all night. So, you know, uh, I don't think this is going to be a good move for her. So, uh, I think she should move back down to 115. As for Chikagin, you know, she made her call out. She says she wants another rematch. She wants another title shot against Chikagin. I mean, against Valentina. And she said, hey, I'll take her. She'll take Tate. If she wins, she would take on uh, Grasso. And, of course, she said that French chick. You know, you know, you know her name. That's Manon. You know, go ahead and call out Manon. You know you want, you know you want that fight with Manon. So, um, hey, that, that, that's what I like. You know, nobody else calls names. It's always... Uh, whoever they put in front of me but you know hey chikagin gave you what four names she gave you valentina tate grasso and manon right she gave you four names right there on who she wants next i personally would like the manon fight and whoever wins that fight you know gets that uh valentina shot so uh yeah that that should work uh but yeah guys good fight good fight all around you know nobody was really that much in trouble to get knocked out but i just like to see two fighters go in there and get gritty get down and dirty and uh, put it all on the line like that um yeah so uh yeah guys let me know what y'all think in the comment section combo breaker 99 i'm out subscribe peace